So when learning the holes of the skull, you should always start with your R O S. They're all in a line and that's your foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, and foramen spinosum. From your foramen spinosum, you drop straight back and that's your carotid canal. From your carotid canal, you follow the channel straight up into your foramen lacerum. After you find your foramen lacerum, you go over the mountain, and the first thing you come across is the internal acoustic meatus. Then you continue down the mountain, and you find your jugular foramen. Even further down the mountain, is this hole on the side, which is your hypoglossal canal, right around the rim of the biggest hole, which is your foramen magnum. Drawn as a picture, You just have to remember, you do your ROS all in a line, you drop back from your S, and you have your CC, which is your carotid canal. You go straight up through the channel to your frame and lacerum. Then you go over the mountain And over the mountain is your internal acoustic meatus, followed by your jugular foramen, and right next to the foramen magnum is your hypoglossal canal. So my suggestion is, is to learn the holes of the skull in exactly that order and repeat it several times. Then when you're taking your test, if you can't remember which hole is which, just go through the whole thing.